Hello, this is Math 6, Lesson 4-7, Solve Inequalities. In this lesson, we'll be able to write and represent solutions of inequalities. Let's look at solve and discuss it. Henry is thinking of a number that is less than 17. What number could he be thinking of? So what are numbers less than 17? How can we use number line? to show all the numbers that are less than 17. Let's draw a number line. We got 17 right here. If you go up, you go to the right, right? So 18 is on the right, 16 is on the left, 15, 14, 13, and so on. So, Everything on the left side of the number line um, of 17 would be numbers less than 17. And so on. <clears throat> so it can be any number to the left of 17. Oh, there's a number line. Okay. So any number on the left of seventeen smaller than seventeen on the number line. Let's look at focus on math practices. Could Henry be thinking of 17? Does it include 17 if it says less than 17? Is 17 less than 17? No, 17 is not less than 17. So in this lesson, we're going to think about how we can represent the solution of an inequality on a number line and other ways. So example one, we're going to graph the solution of an inequality. The inequality uses greater, less than, greater than, equal to, greater, uh, less than or equal to, or not equal to, to compare two expressions. We learned this in the last lesson. Today, we're going to graph all the solutions of x number x greater than five so step one in order to graph any number greater than five you're going to draw an open circle because you do not include five open circle means five is not included but you start from there okay and then you find some other solutions that are greater than five seven and nine are greater than five and you know it's going to go to the right all the numbers on the right side of five on the number line would be greater than five. So draw an open circle on the five and draw an arrow to the right. Inequalities have how many solutions? Infinitely many solutions. This means that there is an unlimited number of solutions. We don't just have one or two. It's not just seven and nine that are bigger than five, right? There are so many other numbers that are greater than five. So then that arrow represents all the numbers greater than five. Let's look at try it. We're gonna graph all the solutions of X less than eight. All the numbers less than eight. Does it include eight? No, so to graph this, you draw a full circle or an open circle open circle at eight okay um seven and four 
are two of the many possible solutions of the inequality. Seven is less than eight. Four is less than eight. So we're going to shade the solutions to the left to right. Left of the open circle you drew at eight. Okay. Convince me, how does the graph of the inequality change when the less than sign is changed to a greater than sign? How does it stay the same? Okay, if it's greater than, you still put an open circle on the eight and then you go numbers greater than to the right. Okay, you would still draw an open circle on A, but the arrows go to the right. Okay. Example two, graph to solve an inequality. The barbecue beef dinner uh, entry is the most expensive expensive menu item in this Flamingo restaurant. Some of the costs of the entries are shown at the right. What are all the possible costs of the menu items? Here we got a Flamingo restaurant menu right here. Dinner entries, we have the burger, which is $8.75, barbecue beef, $12.25, pasta, $7.5, and chicken taco, $10. Okay. Um, and yes, barbecue beef is the most expensive item. Okay, so we're going to write and graph an inequality. All the possible costs of the menu items um, are less than or equal to 12.25. There are too many possible costs to the list, so it's more efficient to show the cost on a graph. Um, this is not the entire menu, I suppose. So just imagining all the other menus that are less than 12.25, we're gonna graph them uh, in an inequality. But, but in, the, in this problem, can we get a price that's a negative? <laughs> no, there is no such thing as a negative dollar on the menu, okay? you have to pay something. So it includes all the positive numbers, right? So think about that as well. Let's look at try question. There are no menu items on the children's menu at the Flamingo restaurant that cost more than $8.5. What are all the possible costs of the items on the children's menu? So, there are no menu items uh, that cost more than $8.5, which means 8.5 uh, is the maximum, right? Does it include 8.5? Is 8.5 no more than no more than 8.5? So think about it. 8. Some something is more than 8.5 does not include 8.5, but is is it not more than 8.5? Yes, then you include 8.5. So C for cost is less than 8. Point, less than equal to 8.50. Okay, so then you draw not an open circle, but you draw a closed circle in the 8.5 section, and then do you go left or right? Left, because all the cost is going to be less. And ideally, you would just stop here, right? But then we're not going to worry about that right now, okay? Let's look at example three. Substitute to solve an inequality. A long jumper who jumps at least 18 feet qualifies qualifies for the finals, which, which athletes, if any, qualify for the finals? We got Amir, Jake, Tyrell, and Ryan. And these are results of these uh, players, okay? And 
if they jump at least 18 feet, they qualify for the finals. So at least means it includes 18. So is this greater than 18? Yes. 16 is not at least 18. So no. 18.5. Yes, qualified. Ryan, 20.5. Yes, qualified. Okay, so here, everyone except Jake are qualified. Um, let's look at this try question. Which athletes, if any, would qualify for the finals if the length of a jump that qualifies for the finals were at least 20 and a half feet? At least means it also includes 20. It needs to be at least this one, right? So if, um, for the finals, if it's at least 20.5, who would, who would be qualified? Is uh, 22 and one third greater than equal to 20.5? Yes. 16 is still not there. What about 18 and a half? No, it's not. Okay. What about 21 half? It includes 20.5. So, yes, Ryan is also qualified. So, who are qualified for the final, finals? Amir and Ryan were qualified for the finals because 22 and one third and 20 and one half are solutions. So what do we learn in this lesson? Let's summarize our lesson. An inequality uses three symbol, these symbols, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, to compare two expressions. When we're graphing um, inequalities, we, we are going to start with a circle, either open circle or closed circle, depending on if it's, if the solution is included or not. If you have an equal sign, a half equal sign, you're gonna you're gonna draw a closed circle. If it's less than or greater than, you have an open circle and then you graph the arrow either to the left or right depending on the num if the number is less than that number or greater than that number. Okay, that was lesson 4-7, Solve Inequalities. We will continue with the next lesson in the next video. Bye.